What's up, YouTubers? Here we are back on Trenton's Project Norge. We're about to put the cylinders on this thing. We did the KSAF last time. We got the pistons on now, new Weisco pistons. We got the arrow indicated out the cylinder, out the exhaust port side. We got the rings on, we got everything ready to go to start sliding the cylinders on. The cylinders have been honed, deglazed, and uh, these cylinders are actually 60 thousandths over, so it actually makes this motor a, an 806. So we're gonna go ahead and start oiling stuff up, sliding stuff down, start torquing stuff, so enjoy. Trenton's the oiler. He's gonna do all the oiling, I'm gonna do the install. <clears throat> We just like to get some of the injector oil on the piston, on the rings, on the skirts. We'll put a little oil on the cylinders too, just to make sure everything's uh, got a nice film of oil on it before we uh, go to fire this thing up. It's got nice lubricant everywhere. Chinese out front. Yep. And we're going to put the shiny ones all across the front. Let me see this time. Alright, the book says torque them to 24 to 28, so we're going to torque it to 26. Split it right in the middle. We got a crow's foot on here, and when I just looked up, there's no correction for a crow's foot. It just said to have the crow's foot. 90 degrees of the handle. this one I want to show you guys that we did go ahead and tap out his cylinders here we tapped them out to a half inch MPT so we can do that water modification on the front of here and the fittings that we intended on using is not going to work um, I didn't take an account for how close the cylinders are going to be together and the size of the fitting so they're at least tapped and if anybody says you can do this when it's on the motor, no, it can't be done. It's very involved, very hard to tap. You got to get in there with a deburr too and deburr out a knob inside of the cylinder first and then take a ream, taper bore this hole so when you tight tap it with a pipe tap, because your pipe tap kind of makes a narrow tap in there, the threads. No, you can't do this on the, on the engine. Can't do it. You, you got to have these cylinders off to be able to do it. So um, if you're ever going to do this, we will come up with the finished product here and you will see it once it's done, but we got to rethink the whole fitting process of this deal. So, I mean, they have really simple little fittings out there, but we're trying to do something extra nice on it. So, but we'll come up with something here. Um, we'll get it, but I just wanted to show you that we do have them all tapped and if, if it all else fails, 
we just put a threaded plug in here and we're done anyway, so. Check for everything rolling nice, nice and smooth. We'll put a little bit more oil in here too on these cylinders. I mean, they're cast iron cylinders, so they are really prone to rusting, but oh, this thing feels just beautiful. These pistons look just gorgeous in here. Brand new Weisco pistons. We checked our wall clearance at six thousandths. We checked our ring gap at 13 thousandths. They suggest at least a 12 thousandths ring end gap, so everything's looking just gorgeous here. So this thing is ready for the heads yet but those are out at the powder coater so we're waiting for those to come back and uh, we'll finish putting up the rest of the little bit of doodads on here and whatnot and and uh, we'll go from there so thanks for watching guys and uh, catch you in the next video